The edging that you'll see on this blanket is different from a lot of edgings that you'll see on other things in that there was a look that I was going for and the technique that I ended up using is almost a crochet technique, but kind of is a crochet technique with knitting needles. Uh, I'll quit talking about it and actually let you take a look at the edging. It's little loops that match up with the diagonal stripes in the blanket and these loops are done with yarn over bind offs which is pretty much crochet chain with your two knitting needles. So there's your look at how it ends up when you're finished with it and now let me show you how it's done. Here's my work. I am have a teeny tiny little blanket here. We're going to pretend I'm actually finished with it. And I'm going to start I'm looking at my pattern here. I'll knit two, bind off one, and then yarn over bind off times five. And a yarn over bind off is just what it sounds like. Yarn over, whoops, I lost it. Yarn over, one, yarn over, bind off two, yarn over, bind off three, yarn over, bind off four, yarn over, bind off five. That is a crochet chain, my friends. I'm going to now knit two together, bind off one, and then do the yarn over bind offs again. Yarn over, bind off one, yarn over, bind off two, three, four, five. And again, I'll knit two together. This connects it back down to the blanket. Bind off, yarn over, one, two, three, four, five. That's the idea. And here you can see the little loops all the way around the blanket. Well, we finished two here all the way around. I finished two. There's your example. Is two little loops around the blanket. And once you finish that, you will want to, of course, weave in your ends and you'll want to block this. Things will be a little bit askew and your edging will not lay down flatly until you either steam block this or completely wash it and lay it out flat to dry. I, in fact, to get things looking really smooth um, before shooting this video and probably before you, you'd want to do this before you presented this as a gift to someone, I actually ironed it out a little bit. And with this yarn that I'm using here in the pattern, it's not going to do any harm. If this was knit with wool, I'd be worried about flattening out the stitches or something, but in cotton, it's not a big deal. Once I ironed it out, everything looked beautiful and the edges laid really flat and it was, it was really nice. So that's the yet unnamed lacy blanket. Um, I hope to have a name for it before I actually release the pattern. Good luck. Ugh, flies.